So here it is. Can Ricky actually make biryani? This was a challenge set by Raj, one of the channel's top supporters. Man, it's so stressful. Hi everyone, welcome to Le Casmoi. We are back in the beautiful garden setting, and this time, Ricky's attempting biryani. Well, it never works. It's so scary. <laughs> Thinly sliced onions. And not crowded. Social this. distancing onions. <laughs> oh, onion smelling. <laughs> so we're making chicken biryani. And we're going to do this in the Hyperabad style. Hyper what? Hyperabad from the city of Hyperabad. Because it's the most popular, the most trendy in Mumbai at the moment. In so, Mumbai? <laughs> this is what we're going to marinate the chicken in. Okay, no, but first you have to fry the onions. Because they go into the chicken. Right. Come back, let's talk spices. So we got cardamom and cloves and bay leaves, black pepper, oh what was that, cinnamon, and chili powder, cumin, because I like cumin, and a bit of turmeric. Fresh chili, garlic, and ginger. So now we're gonna grind these ones up. I need to be plugged in, Brian. <laughs> Mm, cool, looks all right to me. <laughs> it smells incredible in here. I'm gonna throw that in. This is for the marinade. Yeah, this is for the marinade and the chicken, but remember we don't cook the chicken. Sans sucre yogurt. Everybody has their own, it's their way. It will be the way that your mum taught you, your, her grandmum taught you, all of that. Okay. What makes this uh, hyper body variety unique is that it can be cooked with the raw chicken. You don't have to cook the chicken or any of the meat before, they're thrown in raw. We also have to put some of those gorgeous fried onions. Right, sorry about that, the onions were burning. And we got our chicken thighs, because this is a posh dish. Biryani is not for, for cheapskates, you use the best meats. Oh, look how lovely that looks. So I'm gonna get that all coated on there beautifully, all messy. It smells oh, incredibly, wow. absolutely incredible already. Pop that in the fridge to marinate for at least three hours. Well, if any of you think that she actually forgot the salt, she didn't. She put it in now and uh, mixed it all in. So now it's in the fridge. Don't forget the salt. Don't forget the salt. <laughs> <laughs> I've sort of been trusted with the rice. <laughs> now, the big thing about this is you have to wash it. Lots until the water is clear. But there, two cups. And then you just mix it until the water is clear. Wash it and rinse it. I think it's clean. I'm, I'm calling it clean because it's been like seven times and it just yeah, isn't no, going crystal clear. That looks pretty clear. good. That looks good. You've got to keep a third of the rice, a third of a cup. And you soak it because that goes near the chicken. The loose whole spices. Into the rice and cook it in there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In go herbs. the herbs. Chunky herbs. herbs. A teaspoon of, of salt. Oh, and that was a bay, bay leaves, whole cinnamon. Cloves, cloves and cardamoms. Two spoons of oil. Teaspoons. And we're not going to fully cook this. It's not going to be fully cooked. It's going to be al dente. Oh wow, this stuff really sticks to everything, doesn't it? <laughs> Slosh it around a little. <laughs> mm. It's not coming back up to the boil very quickly. We'll taste. I have to actually strain it because there's some water left in But we don't have a colander for rice. <laughs> not rice colander people. So I'm using a sieve. A flour sieve. So we'll see how Brian does here. Oh, oh I nearly got the whole lot. Well done. Oh, it smells so fragrant. It does. It's quite amazing. You can now fish out some of the spices. But as far as I know, it should be quite... Oh, oh no, it's hot. We're going to make a writer. Okay. I'm going to keep some of the mint and the coriander because the mint makes the hyperbody unique. I just wanted to point out, and I didn't, I didn't want to really say anything before, but there are no real samples here. Mm -hmm. Everything is added raw. It's not like you want to put a piece of mint in your mouth or something. <laughs> Biryani is traditionally supposed to be served with a writer, and I love that idea. It's basically some herby things and a yogurt. So I got a bit of, um, what was that, coriander and mint. Or you can get a sample of this. We can give you a slice. Mmm, uh -huh. <laughs> cucumber. With a bit of mint and coriander, I'm sure. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, a little bit of mint coming through. <laughs> Chop it in half, and then cut it like little slices. Oh, this doesn't look like the yogurt's going to fit in there, but let's give it a go. They do make some good yogurts here. Yeah, they're lovely. Don't worry, don't worry. It'll come together. The sooner you get this in the fridge... The more you can sit back and relax. Yeah, that. And it'll infuse with that mint and coriander. Okay, so we got some 
gorgeous fresh coriander. This now is going to go on top of the chicken layer. Wow, that's going to be a lot of mint and coriander. Mm, this is what gives the hyperbody its signature flavors. Yeah, then you've got some ghee and some saffron water and lemon juice. Over there, you might notice something soaking away. <laughs> It's some uh, dull. Oh, it's soaked with a bit of a um, little bit of saffron and saffron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> saffron and turmeric. We're going to give it flavor with a vegetable stock cube. Sorry, one more thing, guys. If you're completely new to Mauritius or this channel, dull is a split yellow pea. <laughs> Very <laughs> common here, but you guys might not know what I'm talking about because it was in the water. And welcome back. Our chicken has been marinating. Oh, it looks great. Time to assemble. This is the part we have. We don't have a proper <laughs> brownie dig or whatever. We have this. I'm going to put a little bit of ghee in the bottom of it. They is that mean. traditional or is this a Rickyism? I don't know. I just feel... You don't want the chicken you know, to stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to get a bit of goldenness on the skin while we're about it. Yeah, what's really stressful about this... You're going to close up and you won't be able to see it. You don't know what's going on. I'm going to put it skin side down. These are, yeah, skin side down. And I know, I know you're crazy screaming at me, where are the potatoes, where are the potatoes? No, we're going traditional on this, and this is, uh, doesn't have potatoes. They were very specific about it mustn't have this, this watery. Mustn't have the watery bit, but the onion you can take out, because onion's yum, and I fried those. For sure. Then we got our rice, not, the not cooked, the just soaked one. And that is going to go on top of the chicken, because I think the idea is, that this rice is going to cook in the, the juices of the chicken. Caramelized onion. Oh, you can smell them. They just smell better. I hope this works because these onions and that chicken, if I could just fry it, it would be delicious. And that looks about right. And that should flavor the rice as oh, well. Oh, yeah. All this is going to steam up from the bottom uh -huh. and through the other rice that we're going to put on top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come good with that. Oh. Love it. Coriander and mint. I'll give a healthy dose of that. They're two tubs of rice, twice as much as the chicken. What are the little black dots? Uh, those are the cardamom seeds I threw in because I don't like to waste them. Okay. We pulled out everything else, but I kept the cardamom seeds. <laughs> oh, it smells so cinnamony, clovey, fragrant. Ricky, the master of biryani now, has decided she is going to do a layer. I'm just, because I've got two tubs of rice, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit. I don't think this can hurt. Water, what? saffron. It looks kind of pretty. Mm, it's gorgeous. A mm. bit of the saffron water. It's, it's making no color whatsoever. No, I, I was expecting it to be like... To go yellow. Yellow, yellow. But it's doing nothing. Okay. Anyway, that's enough for that secret layer. <laughs> and it's just a bit of lemon juice because that's supposed to go on top. So I'm going to put in the secret layer as well. And I'm going to smuggle a little bit of ghee in there. Not too hot. Oh, this looks lovely. Though. I like now this. Now this is starting to look I yellow. I like this little secret layer. <laughs> it is. This is this is thumbnail material. <laughs> More of the rice hiding up the smuggled layer. Mm, shh. <laughs> Don't let the biryani please catch you. <laughs> I was just hit with like an epiphany. It just like popped into my head. We're making a biryani, Rick. Mm. An actual biryani. Oh, well, I hope it's a biryani. This is the top layer now. Not smuggled at all. No, no, <laughs> this this is authentically supposed to be there. Speedy Gonzalez here is already putting the green on. Oh, no, sorry. Got, oh. got ahead of myself. Yeah. Gorgeous. Pour over this decidedly non-yellow. <laughs> saffron. I thought saffron would really make it yellow. Me too. Maybe it's just because of our, our cheap winner's variety <laughs> saffron. <laughs> oh, love this idea. Lemon and mint. Mm. And coriander. And that chicken. Now on with the ghee. Some ghee. We'll just dot this because I imagine it's going to melt quite quickly. All right. Yeah, as soon as the steam comes through, it's just going to turn to liquid. And drizzle down into that chickeny layers, I think. Everything should be absolutely perfect. All right, we're good. We're good. Now comes the covering part. I've been entrusted with a new task. <laughs> I get to foil it. How do you do this? So oh, it won't fit. <laughs> no, it goes under the lid. Goes under the yeah, lid? Yeah, yeah, take the lid off. Sorry, sweetie. Oh, okay. Put the lid on and then squash it. Try not to break the foil. Lid is on. Look at that. Yeah, sealed. So now it's pretty sealed. It's not going to explode, is I it? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> we'll have to see. 
Start your fires. <laughs> so we've decided we're going to start get the heat going a bit on the warm on the hot one. Chuck it on the little one to just percolate. I suppose. Yeah, for about an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Yeah, I think so. But it's lunchtime now. No, it's not. <laughs> can't see anything and that's what's so creepy about it because you can't prod it or poke it. Everything on the table looks absolutely perfect. There's just one guest not accounted for yet. The elephant in the rain. <laughs> what's gonna be like inside? It could be a disaster. <laughs> this was a challenge set by Raj, one of the channel's top supporters. So here it is. Can Ricky actually make biryani? I don't know. I mean first go guys. First time. Oh, what, what do we do? Oh, look at that. But you have to lift it. Is it hot? Yeah. See if steam comes out. Because if steam comes out, then it, it, it's been steaming. If no steam comes out, then it's probably burnt. I see water dripping. I don't see steamage. It's because we're outside with the wind. Oh, okay. It looks pretty yummy. It does. It looks correct. And look, some of the rice actually did go yellow a little. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Digging in to see if the chicken is cooked or if it's raw or if it's burnt. Oh, man, it's so stressful. I'm, I'm looking. I don't uh, see any chicken. The chicken's gone. The chicken's gone. The chicken evaporated, everyone. I'm just going to pull some out. Oh, it's, 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 there's so much. It's not going to hold on the speed. No. Let's move the plate closer. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wowie. That actually, that actually looks that like... That looks yum. I'm in well, we still have to see if it's cooked. Yes, but it, it's starting to look like a biryani. It's got such wow. dark colours. It, it didn't go yellow. It went golden. Well, the chicken is falling apart. I got a piece of another one. Okay, so... Accidentally. Sorry, bud. I don't even know if I got my whole chicken. But it looks good. Oh, and it smells like biryani. Mmm. And look at how mm. golden that skin has gone. Oh, wow. I'm pretty chuffed with this. I particularly like those little, the soaky ones. The soaky rices. Oh, yeah. No focus. They... Those ones, yeah. Look at the pot. Yeah, it looks like a proper biryani pot. Yeah, no, you got I mean, it's not expert. I'm sure you guys are like, ah, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's this gorgeous chicken under there. But these colors are natural. I mean, the saffron mm. did nothing, but there is color <laughs> still. Ricky is going to decorate up her plate. A bit of fresh what what? Coriander. Oh man. <laughs> and then that gorgeous writer next to the cucumber. Uh huh. And then this lovely creamy doll. Oh, I didn't leave a spot for tamarind. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> now that is a biryani. <laughs> we still don't know how it tastes, though. But boy, does it look beautiful. It does. Okay, let's decorate your plate. Chicken biryani. This is superb. Yeah, it kind of looks worth the effort. Le casse has gotten fancy. I have to eat with a fork. <laughs> I'm dying to try this. Oh, the chicken just falls apart. Yeah, it crazy falls apart. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just, I'm just going to try straight a piece of chicken by itself. Oh, mmm. Nice. Mmm. There's so much flavor in it, and it's so soft and juicy. But biryani is all about the rice. Uh-huh. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I literally cannot shovel this stuff into my mouth fast enough. It is so good. <laughs> awesome. Mm. Mm. I know it might not be purely, purely authentic, guys, so... Oh. Whatever this dish Don't is. hate. I, I did my best. <laughs> this is fantastic, Rick. You really did well. I'm so proud of you. Cool. I'm going to eat some now. Yeah. <laughs> this is Ricky's chicken. She's just going to... Look at look at it. You can't see inside. I can. Can you see that? Ooh. What? It is so juicy in there. Oh, lovely. And all the herby flavors have come through. Come through beautifully. Get a bit of that and a bit of that. Everything. Just get a proper combo. Mmm. You see what I mean? Mmm. It's it's like wow. I'm good at biryani. <laughs> Ricky can make biryani. Let's get into some of the tamarind chutney-ish stuff. Yeah, you gotta try the tam tamarind chutney. Let's see what that does. 
Mmm. Is there a nice sweet and sour to it? Mmm. Mmm. I must say, I do miss my potatoes a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, I'll definitely put potatoes. Half the chicken and add potatoes. Mm hmm We mark weensing it a little bit. We're just going to sit here, eat and enjoy. But mm. uh, I was having a look at mine and there's something wrong with my doll. Uh, you want some more fresh mint? <laughs> it doesn't look quite as pretty as it did when I first got it. Actually, no, that shouldn't be there. That should be in the yogurt. Do we have some coriander? Oh, the coriander here. This one wasn't playing ball. It was just like... Ugh. Yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's why you have pot plants on your table. So you can make okay, it look pretty. This is so good. But I finally understand why you get so much rice with the biryani. Because mm. the rice is the best bit. Mm. 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 I don't know if mm. me, I love this bit. Uh, the, the bit around the... The bit that was closest to the chicken. Oh. I think it should all be the bit closest <laughs> to the chicken. That would be too extreme. That would be too extreme. You need the rice to break it out a bit. Mm. But you can do. you imagine if the, the potatoes had caramelized mm. around it as well? I think they would have. Now that I see, now that I see what happens, it gets a slow, mm. Mm. The slow caramelization oh, on the yeah. skin. Well, I ate all mine. <laughs> it was that good. And the dal and the rice... And the tamarind, oh, a little bit too much tamarind in that mouthful, but... <laughs> mm. It just amazes me. It's I'm like... Try to extract my chicken bone. We, we, were, we were worried. <laughs> when... <laughs> you know, it's just like... Yeah, it just falls apart. Sorry, puppies, not much for you. Yeah. When, when Raj challenged us, mm. challenged us, challenged Ricky to make a biryani, I'm actually really happy that he did, but we were worried. Oh yeah, no. Because a biryani is a special skill. There's, there's no way of checking. There's no way to yeah. look. There's no way. Yeah, mm. you just gotta go. And never having made it before, you don't know the pitfalls. Mm mm. Oh, but that looks. Look how great this looks. Oh, okay, I would just. Yeah. That is so good. I don't even know if you can see it on the camera. Oh, there's a piece of skinny oh. skin for you. Oh, thanks, Rick. I'm okay with the crispy skin. I don't mm. like the. Uh, yeah, the. The skin that was. The steam skin. The steam skin, yes. Oh, but it's still got such a great flavour. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm mm. going to have way too much chicken here for rice. I'm going to have to give mm. myself more rice. Oh, man. <laughs> it, is, it is happy food as well. Oh, but definitely this onion that went on top of the chicken and then the rice that got soaked. That's why they say put most of the onion on top of the chicken. It's so <laughs> tasty because it'll mix. It'll mix later. You don't mm -hmm. have to worry about it. You, mm. you get it still. Mm. You still get to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> And we've got beautiful colours on it. It might mm. not be yellow, but I think these are more natural. You've got the browns and little bits of yellow. Yeah, and There's some that were obviously closer to yeah. the saffron that have got a really nice yellow. Mm. 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 This is so good. I genuinely am proud of you, Rick. Thanks, sweetie. I'm proud of me too. And remember, the best bit is the rice. And who made the rice? No. You did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those... The spices boiled with the rice really do come through. They really do. Mm. What I like is mm, because it's not a fast food takeaway, mm -hmm. we get to have the dal and the tamarind and the raita and the cucumber. Yeah, and have a nice slow meal. I think that's what biryani was intended for. Yeah, nice and slow. Not like what I'm doing. I'm just scoffing it, but it's so nice. I mean, you can scoff it quickly, yeah. but. You know, you don't have to mm -hmm. eat it on the go. Mm. This is a home. This is a home one, mm. and it was made in a small pot, so you got more control. So, I mean, wow, you don't actually have more control. You just don't know what happens Listen under the to lid. You, sounding <laughs> like a biryani expert. <laughs> I've eaten enough biryani that I know this is a good mm. one. <laughs> this is definitely up there, but I think it's also the style. Yeah. Haprabadi. Haprabadi. I can say what, see why it's the region mm. in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that in Mumbai they're not adding food colouring or anything, that it comes natural like this. I think so, I think so. If we'd had better saffron, I agree, that maybe there would have been a bit more fragrance, mm. maybe there would have been a, a bit more colour, mm -hmm. but it was good ghee and you can taste the, mm. that, that richness. Yeah, the ghee is lovely. Oh man, just mouthful after mouthful. It's Hope you guys really are still good. with us. <laughs> mm. Interestingly, we just worked out for that whole pot of food and the extras, it was only 300 rupees. Well, it turns out Ricky can make biryani. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.